Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, what do you think these are? They're round, they're... They smell kind of um, nutty. Um, well, crunchy, <laughs> nutty. Kind of remind me of popcorn and um, peanuts mixed together. No, well, these are lotus seeds. And boy, are they tasty. Really good. If you have not tried them, this is a snack that you're going to love. I have to say, I'm hooked on them. <laughs> uh, I have one more. Really good. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. And they've been around for over a thousand years. And uh, I grow them in Asia, of course, and Europe, and the United States now. And you know, like in Florida, and that type of the Everglades and that type of thing. They love little swampy areas, and they go back thousands of years. You know, even there's the uh, story about Buddha, you know, getting married when he was young, and his, him and his wife were locked in, in embrace, making love, and they, you know, roll off the roof. They're there on the roof, and they roll off the roof, and they land in a big bed of lotus flowers, and they never even notice <laughs> that anything happened. A very interesting story. Hmm. No, they're lotus seeds are super nutritious, and uh, they have been a snack for a long, long time. And not just a snack; they used as food for a long, long time. Also, it's one of the oldest seeds that's been found in the Egyptian tombs. Uh, some that go back thousands of years, and they were still viable and could be planted. Also, so. They even knew about these wonderful little snacks. <laughs> and uh, they're full of protein, and uh, they're cholesterol-free, and full of carbs that are good for you, and uh, have instant energy. Also, there are lots of iron for anemia, calcium for strong bones, potassium for cardiovascular disease, and uh, uh, good contractions of the heart and uh, also relaxing the vessels of the of the body in general also water regulation phosphorus for creating hormones and uh, also for proper mental function and man manganese for lowering blood sugar and good metabolism b vitamins for stress and vitality and b vitamins for you know keeping away uh, any type of the birth defects, which is important. Also, they are very low in calories. A cup only has 100 calories, so that's really low in calories, uh, which is great weight loss food. So if you want to lose weight, they are a great way to do that. I, I think it's wonderful. You know, you can buy these in the store and they come dried, and sometimes you can buy, find them already roasted. And... Uh, and they, a small bag will run about 250 to $10, depending on where you buy them. I mean, it varies. And uh, you can buy them, like I said, plain, and you can roast them yourself. They are hard. You know, if you got fragile teeth, <laughs> I wouldn't do this. But uh, I can even break it with my fingers here. So I don't think they're hard. But they can be used in soups and stews and all kinds of things. Just wonderful. And they're also full of antioxidants, wonderful antioxidants. And some of these, I'm not going to get into the long names. <laughs> they also help with cardiovascular disease, strokes, and diabetes and cancer. So, And they also help to repair the proteins in the body. Just, just great. And uh, also they help with inflammation. Here's a snack that helps with inflammation. Wow. It has kimferol in it, which is a powerful anti-inflammatory. In fact, there was uh, studies done showing that also uh, lotus seeds help with, with herpes and helps to keep it under, under control so you don't have the outbreaks. And also it, it contains isoquinoline, quinoline, uh, an alkaloid, which is a relaxing agent, an antispasmatic agent, and this was done at the Oregon Institute of Medicine, of uh, traditional medicine, 
and uh, so they found it helped with insomnia, restlessness, restlessness, and heart palpitations. So, if you want to be able to sleep better at night, take a little bit of uh, lotus seeds at night. And you know, I'm not talking about eating, you know, a big bag of popcorn worth of, <laughs> but five or six, ten, twelve, twenty kernels, you know, would be a great thing to do. Also. Uh, they help to the arteries to relax, so it lowers blood sugar, blood pressure, and they also lower blood sugar too. So, which is a great thing. Also, they help with uh, prostate disease, urinary tract changes, and disease uh, diseases of the reproductive system, probably because of the anti-inflammatory capabilities that they have. So, really great again. I mean, what more can you ask for? A, a snack that makes you healthy. <laughs> And tr Chinese traditional medicine, they're used for boosting up kidney chi energy. And we can all use that. That is the energy to have get up and go and do what we need to do every day. And it's good for uh, good sexual vitality also. So, you guys. <laughs> hey, gal. Also, they are great for he treating heart, spleen, and kidney-related diseases in traditional medicine. And also, uh, they help to get rid of excess heat in the body. So if you're always hot, and a lot of people are, they're always fanning themselves, always dripping with sweat, then try some lotus seeds. that will help to cool you off. And they also help with stopping internal bleeding. And they use them really well for treating diarrhea. If you have diarrhea quite often, uh, you might want to soothe your GI tract with the anti-inflammatories found in lotus seeds. You know, lotus seeds are very interesting and beautiful flower. I mean, everything from red to purple to, you know, yellow. They have different uh, colors of, uh, available, and they come up, and they're they grow in water, you know. And uh, they're absolutely wonderful. They grow in the muck. And the root itself is edible, too, and it has holes in it and wonderful and stir fry. So... If you ever have lotus root, I mean, if you haven't gone to an Asian store or a Chinese store and perused around to go into lockers, the cold lockers, <laughs> look around. It is just wonderful. I, I go there, in fact, I was there yesterday. Uh, and I go quite often. And uh, I love looking at uh, different things from the Orient. And like I said, it lowers blood sugar and helps with arthritis. I mean, what more could you ask for something that helps with your aches and pains and joint pains and swelling and redness and uh, it's a snack also cosmetic companies have been using it uh, because it has anti-aging compounds in it because of all the powerful antioxidants it has so they were putting it into her cosmetics to make sure that you have that youthful looking skin <laughs> but i recommend you just eat these seeds first of all and some people call them popping seeds because when the flower is gone, there is the seed head and it has holes on it. And then when they get ready, when they're ripe, the seeds are ripe, they pop out and they just pop, right? They make a kind of, some of them make a little popping sound. Very interesting. And uh, it can also be uh, used for all kinds of different things as far as soups. Uh, you can pop them like popcorn, which is pretty cool. If you are too hard for you, soak them overnight in water. They're really good that way. You can put them in soups and stews and casseroles and all kinds of things. Uh, they could be ground into flour, all, all kinds of different things. You can make them into wonderful vegetarian dishes. Um, you can buy them at any Asian market. That's where I find mine. And uh, you can also... Uh, find them at uh, online you can find them on uh, ebay i found them there and also on amazon so there's all kinds of different things cajun cooks call them flying seeds because they pop out of those pods so uh it's another one of the interesting aspects of these lotus seeds and and you can also ask for them at your health food store. They could probably buy and get a hold of them if you wanted to find them. And they don't really have any side effects. They're food. So uh, enjoy lotus seeds. I think this is wonderful that you can have something like popcorn. It's really high in protein. And you can enjoy in wonderful ways. I'm not going to have another one because 
Yeah, trying to talk here. <laughs> trying is the word. <laughs> I think it's really important that we balance out our our uh, our diets as much as possible. And if you really want to get healthy and come as healthy as me, I do 100 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, 100 crunches, uh, walk seven miles a day, work out with weights, and I am will be 65 in uh, September. So, uh, and if you want to be healthy like me, uh, you can see my face. I don't have wrinkles like a lot of people. So I think it's really important that you eat healthy. Go to my website, www.paulhaider.com. And up in the right-hand corner near testimonials, you'll see my diet. And click on my diet and read through it. I recommend you read it a couple of times. There's a lot of information. At the end of the diet is all the uh, substantiation of all the articles about uh, eating a whole foods, plant-based diet. But my diet is more than just a plant-based diet. It is also a lifestyle. And uh, there's a lot of different things in there, including meditation, we can calm the mind. Now, if you eat right, but your mind's going 24-7 like crazy, which I see a lot of people that way. Uh, it doesn't matter what you eat. <laughs> it's not going to help. You know, we got to slow down the mind. we got to create great peace. And there's a difference between regular meditation, which is amazing, and some of the uh, visualizations that other people are doing. In meditation, I have uh, actual EEGs of my brain waves going on. Now you can see in regular waking state, there's a lot of activity going on. And in meditation, it's almost flatline. And that's when the prefrontal cortex gets thicker. We actually start to think better. We react less to stressful, you know, occurrences that happen to our, in our life or the amygdala in our brain the, it becomes less active. That's the part that acts, you know, out of flight fight or flight and so we start to calm down and uh, that's really what we want to do and it's totally different than you know uh, visualization which is a total different thing because your mind is totally active and so we want to calm the mind bring peace into our lives and then we find amazing things happen uh, great things coming our way and we our body starts to respond in great ways and so it's important that we listen to uh, what the great sages of old have been telling us for thousands upon thousands of years you know we need to calm the mind body and it is a mind body now we have thousands upon thousands of uh, actual case studies uh, showing that what we do to the mind actually influences the body. And when we have stress, boy, it really ca causes a bad situation. I know my dad died of a stress heart induced heart attack at 57. You don't want to go there. No, I didn't want to go there. I, all my relatives died of heart attacks, the male ones, at 62. <laughs> I'm uh, going to be 65. I said, I'm not going there. So if you go on my diet and start taking the, the regimen of the uh, different vitamins and minerals and uh, different herbs that I recommend, uh, I highly recommend. But if you can't afford all those, just take the ones I say are vital. And that's important. You know, the Corella, the, the vitamins and the, the the vitamin complex that I recommend. And then you will be good. We got to get in the B12. We, we got to get in all the essential and non-essential proteins. And uh, on this diet, you're going to be looking trim and feeling good. And so you can make a difference in your life and make a difference in the lives of other, other people. I even had uh, an instance where a young girl had uh, attention deficit you know, ADHD, and she went on a whole foods plant-based diet, like mine, and she got off her meds, she got off her pre-diabetic condition also, she was heavy and she had pre-diabetes, pre or, you know, 
her blood sugar was quite high even on fasting and that disappeared and she lost about 10 pounds also in the, in the same time because she was kind of heavy and so even a little kid at seven years old can do this so i know you can do this too so uh, allow yourself to enjoy some wonderful lotus seeds and allow yourself to enjoy my whole foods plant-based whole foods plant-based diet and lifestyle lifestyle is the most important thing so allow yourself to have a wonderful day if you want to get a hold of me all my contact information is down below all my consultations are free i mean free really you can get a hold of me by email and text and phone and skype and on, on my facebook page under dr paul hater and you can message me up above and i get that instantaneously also and i try to get back to you within minutes so uh, unless it's the middle of the night i go to bed at 8 p.m so <laughs> i will not answer you in the middle of the night i have a man to get angry with me because i didn't answer him at two o'clock in the morning if i I have five or six phone calls sometimes in the middle of the night. If I answered every one of those calls, I would be a wreck the next morning. So please forgive me. Uh, <laughs> please forgive me. I'll get back to you in the morning if you live in the United States. Uh, or contact me by email, and I will get back to you right away. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you care to make a donation, that is greatly appreciated. And uh, I hope really really appreciate that a lot and have a wonderful day and remember most of all i love you